Merry Christmas, lovely people. It's David Anthony, the Creepy Bard. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a little video on the subject of Angel Lust and the appearance of the Holy Hard-On in Renaissance art. And since then, I have been doing more research, very scholarly research into this subject. And I have learned some new things that I wish to share with you. Firstly, I found a few more paintings featuring the ecumenical erection. Here's a German one. It's of the resurrection. Christ has risen again. Indeed, he has. And look at it, it's all tied up and, and wrapped up tight and... Uh, well, it is a German painting, after all. And just look at the expression he has on his face. Hey there. I see you looking at it. What do you say, Tom? You want to stick your finger in my wounds? And then there's this one. It's a Pieta. That's a fancy scholar word for a picture of Jesus' mum looking all sad after they've taken him down from the cross. Well, she looks sad, but he's looking rather happy. What? He's a good Jewish boy. He loves his mother. Well, that's something I'd rather not visualize, but they've done it for me. But I didn't just come here to give you more of the same. No, I also came here with new information. Firstly, I found out that the featuring of the sacred stiffy in Renaissance art is not only because that's what happens when someone gets crucified. No, there are symbolic reasons as well. You see, in Renaissance art, Jesus' penis is a symbol for his mortality, which is a rather important thing, theologically speaking. I mean, after all, if Jesus is completely divine, then his crucifixion is not really a sacrifice. It doesn't really mean anything in order for it to mean something, at least part of him has to be mortal, and for the Renaissance painters that part of him happened to be his penis. Which is why we have paintings like this one, and just in time for Christmas. You see, there's, there's, there's baby Jesus, isn't he adorable, and there's, there's the Virgin Mary pointing at his penis, and there's Saint Anne pointing at his penis, and there's Mary Magdalene pointing at his penis, and there's John the Baptist pointing at his face with a look in his eyes that says, I do not know what these women's obsession with his penis is all about. But this, of course, is part of Renaissance symbolism. They are pointing out Jesus' mortality, showing that he indeed will one day be able to die for our sins, and it will mean something. Oh, and just like Jesus' erection on the cross, this is not an isolated incident, although they aren't always pointing at his junk. Sometimes they're doing other things. Things like that. Aye, it's a Madonna with child from Prague, and between the overt baby molestation and the weird way that Eastern Europeans used to depict faces, this one's gonna give me nightmares. And here's another German one, and in this one, my God, Saint Anne is, she, she's bloody going to town on the poor boy. She's just, just fiddling around in there, and, and, and Jesus is grabbing onto the Virgin Mary's face, going, mommy, mommy, make the mean woman stop. And then you've got this guy. It was just sort of watching the whole thing. And between this and the earlier portrait, German pornography is starting to make a lot more sense. And finally, it just wouldn't be Christmas without a nativity scene. It's the adoration of the Magi. And you can see precisely what that Magi is adoring. My God, he's just a push away from being the first man ever to fillet the Saviour. Now, after I did the last video on this subject, there were a number of people who requested that I write a song concerning the pontifical protuberance. And who am I to deny the public what they want? That's right, it's my Christmas gift to you. A song about Jesus' junk. Unfortunately, I wrote the song in the style of Christian rock, which is why I'm not going to be able to sing it. That style doesn't really go well with this voice. And so Uncle Silas is going to be singing it in order to fulfill his punishment from what he pulled on Sunday. All right, but I don't really see how this is a punishment. I like this song. I helped you write it. Oh, I know. That's why for your punishment, you're gonna sing it wearing this. Oh, hell no. There is no way I'm wearing that. Oh, did I mention you don't have a choice in the matter? No, I am sorry. There's no way you're getting that thing on my head. Oh, don't worry. It's not gonna be that hard. Just watch. What? I don't get it. How's that supposed to... Shit! I really hate you right now. Aye, oh, that's right. Now sing the song with feeling. Alright, but only because I really like the song. A long time ago out in Bethlehem town When the shepherds and the sheep and the wise men went down To see the newborn king wrapped in tender love and care 
there Mary pointing at his dick to prove it was there Happy birthday Jesus We'll all stare at your penis It's a symbol of your sacrifices everyone knows Just like your love for us we hope that it For our sins and your hands, they were tied. And after 39 lashes, you were crucified. And they looked up at you hanging there from the cross, sporting a huge heart on, just like a boss. Well, thank you for saving us, Jesus, as we stare at your heart penis. It's a symbol of your sacrifices, everyone knows. Just like your love for us, we hope that it And put you in a cave They sat and they mourned And for three days I prayed Then they rolled back the stone Looked in and then saw the bulge in your shroud And said he's risen again And years from now when I meet my fate I know I will meet him at those pearly gates And when I see the Savior I'll get down on my knees And I'll smile as he showers his blessing Christmas, Jesus, we're still staring at your penis. It's a symbol of your sacrifices, everyone knows. Just like your love for us, we hope that it grows. Oh, you're so full of love that you're liable to burst. Let's hope the second coming is as good as the first. Well, thank you very much, Uncle Silas, and if you have enjoyed that, do feel free to like and subscribe, look us up on Facebook, leave comments in the down there, and a Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.